Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Here you will find fascinating videos on a variety of topics. Subscribe and stay tuned. How was alcohol invented? What is the soul of wine? Intoxicating drinks mankind invented several millennia ago, but strong alcohol appeared much later, in the Middle Ages. Initially, the inventors of alcohol pursued completely different goals. Who, when, and why learned to extract a high-degree liquid? Where did these names, alcohol and alcohol, come from? Frosting It is reliably known that distilleries and breweries existed already 4,000 years before our era. Even before the advent of agriculture, people learned to get drinks from fermented gifts of nature. People had no idea that alcohol existed. If they wanted a stronger drink, they froze wine. Alcohol has a lower solid state temperature than water. When put on ice, the wine would split. What didn't freeze was poured off, making a stronger alcohol. But it was impure, with many impurities. Harun al-Rashid's alchemist. Strange as it may seem, alcohol was discovered in a civilization that denied the use of alcohol because of religious prohibition. The 8th century AD is called the Golden Era of Islam. Powerful Muslim powers are formed in the East. At the court of legendary Harun al-Rashid served the best alchemist of that epoch. Abu Musa Jabir ibn Hayyan, or Jabir, Gaber in European interpretation. A man of complicated destiny, he received from the ruler the right to conduct any experiments. As an alchemist, he was interested in ways of transforming one substance into another. He invented neither the philosopher's stone nor the secret of gold but he did make a lot of related discoveries. For example, he understood the nature of alkalis and acids, for which he is called the father of chemistry. Jabir developed and described a device made of copper with which he obtained distillate from wine. Alcohol is not only distinguished by its lower freezing point, it evaporates earlier than water. This property was used by Jabir to create an apparatus to capture ethanol condensate. Jabir called it the soul of wine. The alchemist wrote that he considered this flammable liquid to be of little use, but believed the technology would prove useful to science. A drink the color of rain. About a hundred years after Jabir came the second great Arab chemist and physician, Muhammad Zakaria al Razi. He saw that the soul of wine could be useful in medicine, for disinfecting and making medicines. Al-Razi perfected the techniques described by Jabir and made the distillate of high quality, pure. Al-Razi used a dark powder of the mineral stibnite. It was called coal in Arabic. As a result, Al-Razi's distillate became known as al kol i.e. purified with the help of dark sublimated powder. The medic described the whole process of obtaining ethanol in his treatise The Secret. The medicine man saw the purpose of alcohol in curing diseases. It is not known who was the first to realize the ingestion of distillate, but there is evidence that it happened during the same period. A contemporary poet, Abu Nawas, dedicates a poem to alcohol, in which he describes a drink the color of rain, burning the ribs. The vapors hover in the air. Although the works of Jabbar and al-Razi were not translated into European languages for a long time, their ideas spread with the Muslim invasions of the West. In the 12th century, Distillation was taught to medics in Salerno. Jabir's words about the soul of wine were translated into Latin as spiritus vini. As a result, in Europe, the term alcohol, a calque from Arabic alcohol and a figurative expression, aqua vitae, the water of life, became in common use to denote distillate. Almost simultaneously in twice fourth centuries, different alchemists of Europe described their improved technologies. The Spaniards were the first to produce alcohol for internal use. That's it! Thank you for watching the rest of this. If you like the video, don't forget to rate and subscribe.